We have reached the quarter pole with today's episode, episode 25 in our youth challenge, and uh, things are going well. Uh, we have had a couple of really good unbeaten runs uh, inter- with, a, with a brief interruption, uh, but let's get into today. We do have highlights against uh, Warrington in an away match, and then we open up the FA Cup against Coventry at home. Coventry is uh, in the Skybet League One, so it will be a stiff challenge for us. And I put up on Twitter, uh, it's been an interesting, I've been playing today getting up to the match here. Uh, We have actually gotten, in a space of three days, we got two uh, requests for job interviews. Uh, One was with a League One side, and the other was with a championship side. So. Luckily, it's not a journeyman, or we would have been uh, looking to jump ship at that point, I am pretty sure. But let's get into the, uh, into the episode, run, run the intro. We'll come back, take a look at the three matches that we had since last episode, and then we'll check out highlights and have today's FA Cup match. Hey guys, RC here. We are back. Episode 25 of our Play the Kids Youth Challenge. We're with Tiverton Town and uh, we are doing pretty well. So last episode we had the 3-0 victory over the Metropolitan Police. Mudge with a brace in that one. Uh, Then uh, since then we beat Telford 4-0. Mudge with a hat trick. Tim Cook got a goal off the bench uh, starting in that one. And Tierney with a late goal. Chesterfield a 3-0 win. Mudge, Scoby, and Cook with goals there, and a 3-2 victory over Warrington, which I wasn't supposed to show you, but we'll go do the highlights right now. All right, it starts off with a Route 1 pass, intercepted by Hemming, back over the top. Mudge catches it on one bounce near the spot, and he slots that one home. Very good goal for him. Doyle with the cross. Went a little far. Ireland tracks back, controls it, and Bliss top bin from the edge of the box. And that was a thing of beauty. 17th minute. An own goal by Humphreys. The shot went off the woodwork. Came off of Humphreys' back. You don't see that very often. And then in the 54th minute, Ellis through to Doyle. Doyle slots that one home. Uh, Doyle getting one of his last starts or appearances before Williams hopefully comes back from his injury. And then uh, Tipple, back post to Lynch, beats Humphrey for the goal, made it 3-2 to two in favor of Tiverton. That's how it would end up. 21 shots to 10, 11-4 to four on target. So uh, we were the dominant side. But just like in our other save, I'm running the same tactic. I'm finding that we are bleeding a little bit in the way of goals. So need to kind of figure out what I want to do there. Uh, Maybe I need to pull those attacking wingers back to midfield wingers and have four four in the mid rather than two in the mid and two up top. I'm not sure what to do there, but we'll think about it. Uh, Taking a look at the competition, we are currently nine points uh, clear of Forest Green for automatic promotion and looking good. Uh, You know, not that they're doing bad. They've only suffered four losses. Gloucester have only suffered two. Uh, So that's uh, (laughs) that is a thing. Uh, But, you know, again, we do have the advantage here and we are looking good on goal differential. So that gives us a break and we are entering the FA Cup today so let's get to that match very funny tim cook has been raising a stink about wanting to start more matches uh what did i sign him as remember we extended his contract he's a squad player but he wants to start more matches he's just not starter quality right now and i i think he's missed his window i kind of do regret re-signing him at this point Unfortunately, he is signed for another year. I may try to move him on in January when the transfer window opens. Graham Williams not ready to come back from his injury just yet. 
All right, we're going to go with Humphreys in goal, Hugel, Hemmings, Tierney, and Is Cuierto on the back line, Nuevo and Ellis in the midfield, Ireland and Carmichael going to get a start today on the wing, Mudge and Doyle up top, and we are uh, looking forward to the return of Williams. You can see off here to the side here, Williams with 19 goals. Mudge recently passed him with 22, but he's also started 18 games to Williams is 14, uh, Williams by far, and he's been out five weeks. So uh, the <laughs> I think we'll be back. Not that we've been off the boil, but I think once we get uh, our main man back, uh, things will definitely pick up. Looking for an upset. We will go with a little bit of encouragement here in the early going and hope we can get something off here. Coventry off to a two-shot advantage before we get our first shot. Back post, it's Robin Mudge, his 23rd of the season, and Tierney with the assist, and that puts us up in the 12th minute. Tiverton won, Coventry nil. The header was definitely going to go wide of the mark, but Mudge is there to slot it home. That is a huge, huge goal for us. And Morris gets a warning for Coventry. Carmichael into the box, and it's Hemmings at the back post, but he broke a little early, and that one will be called back for offsides. Oh, just, just a step. Just a step. Well, we certainly deserved it, I think, but that's all right. We're going to encourage him again. 25th minute. Team's been playing really well. Uh, we still have, you know, a little selection. Oh, we tried to dink him. That was a little optimistic. Um, but, yeah, we're looking really good. We've got, you know, we're stringing together a lot of decisions, uh, you know, picking up points. So nothing wrong with how we've been playing. But, you know, when you get to this level, you go up one or two leagues, and you just never know how it's going to turn out. Oh, there's Ellis with a nice clearance. I don't know why Mudge did that, but that was a, turned out to be a good decision. Oh, and he misses it. Oh, my gosh. How did he miss that one? He certainly did not expect to miss on that opportunity. Back out wide to Kohler. Crossed in and a header. Humphreys with the easy, comfortable save. And it's still Tiverton 1, Coventry nil, heading into the 40th minute. A through ball to Doyle, and Doyle tries to dink the keeper. This one doesn't drop for him, and it goes over the crossbar. Ireland looking a little rough today. 6.4 here in the early going of the game. Oh, that's nice. Doyle off the woodwork. We have had a lot of opportunities here. Let's see. Woodwork. That didn't count as a woodwork shot? Crazy. Crazy. Eight shots to nine, four apiece on target. We've got the XG advantage and the goal advantage. Uh, let's go with outstretched arms. Keep them motivated. I'm going to give them some praise here in the early going. Ireland picks out Carmichael. He's into the box, and yeah, that wasn't very good. <laughs> that that left a little something. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and make an early sub here for Ireland. I'm going to bring on Scoby. I'm going to make him an inverted winger on this side. Let's do that. Scoby has had quite a few starts over on the right, so a little playing out of position for him here. Carmichael, near post. Cleared right back to him. Ellis in the middle. There's a crack, and he cannot find the net with this one. And now we are looking at the corner for Coventry, and we stave off that attack. Very evenly matched, which is what I like to see. Good clearance out. Scobie, over the top. It's Mudge running onto it. 
and he can't finish again. Wow. We're just not able to get anything going here. We've had a lot of offers coming in for Hemming. Uh, one club was going to break their record transfer at 22000 and it was over his value, but it wasn't enough for me to be willing to let him go. I'm going to bring Jerry Henry on for Tony Doyle, and I think that's going to be his debut, or at least video debut. Let's encourage him. Okay, now let's do a time-wasting sub. Carmichael's tired. He's out on the right. Uh, we'll put Matt McDonald in, and I believe that's his debut, or at least video debut as well. And there is a foul. The question is, is it in the box? It is, and it's Tierney, our center back, lining up to take this one. And... Uh, what a what a what a penalty there! Bottom left corner, second goal of the season for Tierney, and that gives us a two nil advantage in the 88th minute in front of the home fans, and that was in front of the Coventry away fans at that end of the pitch, and that was very very nice. Four minutes of stoppage time. Oh, good good ball outside to Scoby. Uh, that was too close to the keeper, made that too easy. Didn't give anybody a chance to run on to it. We've played really well here. Oh, good interception by Hugel. He goes ahead to Mudge. Mudge on the attack. And another poor finish. Come on, guys. I mean, we don't need the third goal, but still. You know, you got to put some of those away. Ended up being very even. They had possession. We were not the dominant team, but we had the dominant XG and chances, and that's what counted. We got it on the scoreboard. Motivate them. That's great. And we do have the draw coming up, I think, in two days. I think it's on the 9th. So let's get up to that for the draw for the second round. Oh, a new record for us with 3,568, uh, breaking the mark set against Tranmere last year. Eighty thousand dollars is a new gate record, beating the seventy thousand last year. Excellent news! All right, here is the draw. It was on the ninth, so we'll have fifty-three teams go in. And I hate to do this, so we'll just speed draw until we appear. There we are, and it's going to be all right. We're going to be away to Southport from the Vanarama National, so that's one league above us. So that's a winnable match. Uh, they are currently in fifth position, so they are one of the better teams. So that'll, you know, it's not the easiest draw, but still it's, it's manageable for us to possibly get back to the third round. That'll be great. And that takes place coming up at the end of the month. So that means we'll come back for, I think the FA Cup because of the money involved. We just got 59,000, I think, for that. So that was a good chunk into the kitty, and we needed that with the money taken out of our uh, bank for the stadium. Uh, so we need to come back and get some more money. Let's come back for Chester Highlights and Southport next episode. We will see you guys for that. Hit the like button, subscribe for daily Football Manager content, and uh, let me know what you think. How far are we going to get here in the FA Cup? Let me know. Talk to you guys later. Bye.